Can demons read our thoughts? The answer to that is no. There's only one person that can read our thoughts outside of ourselves, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, does the Lord Jesus Christ give certain giftings by which he'll send prophets or speak to prophets and tell uh, them to send a message on God's behalf? Or God will warn what other people are going to do and what they're thinking if it happens, such as David asking uh, God, if I go to such and such a city, will the people hand me over to King Saul? God does do that, and God does still uh, speak in that way because when we're born again by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of our sins, we have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one who helps bring clarity, and he is the one who helps us to uh, also discern other people's intentions and motives. But ultimately, again, that is coming from God, and so God is the only one who can read our thoughts. Demons cannot read our thoughts, but they can most certainly influence how we think. And if we take the bait of what they are wanting us to believe, whether that be a lie, because we, we know Satan is the father of lies, or lust, lust of the flesh, lust, lust of the eyes, the pride of life, uh, whatever that might be, if we give way, demons can influence how we think, but no demons cannot uh, read our thoughts because that is uh, the ground of the mental space and that is only accessible uh, to ourselves as well as uh, God first and foremost because we know from Colossians 1, uh, 15 through 20, God has uh, truly created all things, whether it be visible, invisible, whether thrones, dominions, principalities, all things were made by him and through him and ultimately for him. So may all come to know God uh, by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins. And may we just understand that demons cannot read our thoughts, but they can influence them. And if we give way to the bait they put out or the hindrance they want to set up, then we will suffer for it. May we all ask God to give us uh, a strengthening of our mind and to help us to put on the armor of God that we may be protected by the lies and attacks of the enemy.